Could these be considered a healthy snack alternative? <laughs> no, absolutely no. These, however, these? Welcome, I'm John of John Health and Fitness. No miracles, real life. Part of real life is dealing with those cravings you have for between meal snacks or even after meal desserts and trying to find substitutes that won't completely wreck your nutritional plan. That brings us to today's topic, enlightened crispy marshmallow treats. I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised these exist. I was surprised when I stumbled onto them. Who thinks of making a high protein marshmallow treat? Well, the people who know that there are people like me out there who absolutely have to try it. How does it actually stack up though? Let's take a look at the nutritional panel. Number one, you'll notice it's kind of a calorie bomb. It's a big square though, so this is 270 calories. Keep that in mind, you don't have to eat the whole thing. However, the whole thing is 270 calories. They consider that a serving size. But in that 270 calories, 15 grams of protein. That's pretty good. Nine grams of fiber for a marshmallow treat, really good. Nine grams of sugar over the course of 270 calories, also really good. 48 grams of carbohydrates total. I know that's high for some people, but it's a crispy marshmallow treat. And the fat's only three and a half grams if that's something you like to watch. How do they do it? It's pretty straightforward. Take a look at the ingredient label. Milk proteins, soy proteins, brown rice syrup. So nothing really jumps out at me as a problem from this nutritional panel. So overall, pretty good deal. Before we get to talking about taste and texture, let's take a look at the nutritional panel for that Rice Krispies treat, the real deal. Now this particular one is small, it's only 90 calories, so you have to triple everything you see here to make it comparable to the enlightened crispy marshmallow treat. And that's a little eye-opening, because along with those 90 calories comes two grams of fat, so six grams total. Total sugars, eight grams. Triple that, which is basically triple what the enlightened marshmallow squares have, and you've got 24 grams of sugar. Protein, less than a gram, so that's negligible. And pretty much no fiber whatsoever. As for the ingredients, things you can't pronounce, TBHQ, I can pronounce it, I don't know what it is, and artificial flavors. So, based purely on the stats, the numbers look good, but until you put a player on the field, you really don't know how good he or she is. So let's talk a little bit about flavor and texture. There's only so much I can tell you about flavor. At the end of my review videos, past the boilerplate, I always put some footage of my reading Amazon reviews with differing opinions, let's say. So you can check those out at the end if you're interested. I like the flavor. It definitely is missing a lot of the sweetness of traditional marshmallow squares. I don't mind that. The sweetness can be kind of cloying to me, so I'm okay with it. It's got a pretty decent marshmallowy flavor as well. There's also an apple cinnamon. has a really good apple cinnamon flavor. These also come in chocolate and birthday cake. They're fine. They're inoffensive. They just don't have that much chocolate flavor or birthday cake flavor. But again, you can see those contrary opinions at the end of this video. Now, texture is something I can actually show you. So let's take a quick look at that. Okay, so I have them both out here. Uh, I will concede this is actually from Valentine's Day, so that was from a while ago. I'm filming this in early September, uh, but I don't think these ever go bad, do they? I don't think so. I actually checked the texture before, so take a look at this. The texture is, of course, very gooey. That's pretty good. Comes apart. I'm going to take a quick taste of this because I haven't had these in forever, so I can compare them directly. Yeah, really sweet. Really sweet. I'm just not used to that. Good texture. Again, go like gooeyness. Now, let's try these guys. So, enlightened crispy marshmallow treats. I find these to be pretty close, right? Look at that, this kind of pulls away. It doesn't quite have that gooeyness in the middle that these guys have. That's something that's really important to you. Like, kind of got that gooeyness, but you know what? That's not bad. And this is something that has a ton of fiber and protein in it. Uh, and again, as for taste, I can tell you right now, I, I do eat these regularly. Um, decent sweetness. An okay marshmallow flavor. It's hard eating these right after that because your mouth gets all tuned up to that sugary part. But yeah, I think these are fine. It kind of satisfies, especially if you like these anyway. It kind of satisfies that craving. They're fun to eat. Just this texture, I love it. Crunchy and heck, 15 grams of protein. You can cut them in half. It's still seven and a half grams of protein, four and a half grams of fiber. Can't go wrong eating a dessert. 
or a treat or between meal snack like that. So bottom line, if you find these tasty like I do and the texture attractive, which I also do, these can definitely be a good substitute. I do eat these. The biggest knock against them from my point of view is they're just huge. I have these when I'm willing to commit to 270 calories, which means I didn't eat a very big dinner or I'm not eating something else later. But if there's more than one of you at home, you can cut these in half and share them. That'd be great. As always, thanks for watching. I am John of John Health and Fitness. Check out my website, johnhealthandfitness.com. Hit that subscribe button and the alert bell so you don't miss future videos. Think about leaving a comment below too, especially if you've tried them. Let me know what you think. See if you agree with those Amazon commenters I'll talk about towards the end of this video or if you agree with me. Both are totally legitimate points of view, but I do like these. And I'll have affiliate links for them down in the description if you want to buy them. Those are from Amazon. Take care. See you next time. Light marshmallow squares average 2.7 stars. It's not that everyone thinks they're 2.7 stars. There's a lot of people who like them and a lot of people who really, really don't like them. Such as TJS. Yuck! Hard pass! I usually like diet food or can at least choke it down and make myself think I'm enjoying a healthy alternative. Other people were not kidding when they said the texture was like cardboard. Super bland and flavorless for the most part. Lizzie Lou, these have no flavor. It was hard to eat the whole box. From Need Comfort, threw away. Horrible taste. From Kindle Customer, horrible protein flavor. From Pam, gross. I think I can stop there. You get the idea. Um, I will say, though, when I had that uh, Rice Krispies treat just before I ate this during the main part of the video, I couldn't taste this. So if you do eat a lot of sugary things, there's a chance your taste buds just aren't going to pick up the flavor of this. Um, I will point out my eight-year-old son likes these. It's not like he doesn't have a sweet tooth. He eats ice cream and all that. Uh, so um, polarizing to say the least. Maybe don't buy an entire box to try them out. I will say again though, nutritional profile is pretty good. Texture's good. I like the flavor. Your call. Worse than eating cardboard. Seriously sad. This was the most disgusting thing I ever had. Triple that. Is what? <laughs> now I have to do math all of a sudden. Great in my head. <laughs> uh.